Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Josephine Grace Chua Rojo. I'm usually known as the Diet Doctora because I focus mostly on nutrition, specifically low-carb nutrition and fasting. But my specialty as a doctor is really ENT, ears, nose, and throat. And I became an ENT surgeon, ENT, and head and neck surgeon because there is no direct way into becoming a facial plastic surgeon but through becoming an ENT first. So as I finished my studies and my training in ENT, I now subspecialize in facial plastic surgery. So with facial plastic surgery, we usually focus our experiences and procedures in improving the facial profile of a person, mainly for aesthetics. There are also aesthetics and plastic surgery, mostly for pathologic cases to improve the pathologic cases say for example burns or congenital anomalies but mostly it is for the purpose of improving with or without functional improvement so it's mainly because of aesthetics and i am doing this vlog to record my own personal journey as a plastic surgeon i will also undergo plastic surgery myself it's not about just improving or self-esteem or whatever but as a person i consider myself as an artist i've always been thrilled with aesthetics with beauty i do makeup with other people i also do a lot of arts and crafts i paint i draw a lot and i'm just into art but the most important kind of art the most favorite art for me is when it is done in the human face so among many things that my hands can do that my hands can touch it is with the human face and the human body that i am really feeling a lot satisfied i feel a lot fulfilled and i feel a lot of happiness especially when my patients are also very happy with the results of the procedure that we made and ever since young i always knew what to do with my face that's why i use makeup because i know how to tone down the parts which are not so desirable and to emphasize the stuff that is also desirable so even if others will say that i look okay yet i know that there can still be some room for improvement a lot of room for improvements actually so if i will analyze myself so my nose has a bridge so it has a little bridge here but it can actually benefit from little augmentation so maybe we can augment using gore-tex artificial graft or we can also do like cartilage graft or the ones from the rib or we can also do some osteotomy to pinch this one and make it higher but most likely my surgeon which is also my mentor and also one of the most important people why i've decided to go in this journey because of my trust in him will usually mostly do just gore-tex maybe just 3 mm maximum of 5 mm i think because too high would also be not good when you think of the aesthetic nose it's not just about the nose but you also have to consider the forehead so with the forehead there is a good angle supposedly that will increase the nose and also you have considered the lips and also the chin so those are the factors so the augmentation will be needed we will get harvest from the cartilage in the ear so that it will be added as a tip so my tip is somewhat bulbous it's more circular so it's not very pointy so we need to increase that one like this one this effect and also my ala is actually quite big although it's just match my big face but it can also use some trimming so my ala would also be trimmed a little it's called alarplasty plus there is an overhang so an overhang is when your columnella this one is actually just on the level of your ala or if it's if the ala is even lower than columnella it's not very obvious with me because whenever i smile it raises so it's not obvious but when i don't smile like that one you can see that there's overhang so it's like a the bat is downwards so wing of a bat and it's downward here so what we need to improve on is to make this a little higher and make this smaller can you see the difference now and also this one the tip should be improved like that one so those are the plans and also i think my mentor my surgeon will also do some blepharoplasty because if you can see 
my eyes this wide, this is actually a lot of effort for me to widen it. Because if I don't actually exert any effort to widen my eyes, it's just really, really small. And without the eyeliner, my eyeliner is very, very thick already. So without eyeliner, without effort on my part, my eyes would just be like a little slit here. So those are the clear things that needs to be done in my face to improve this one when it comes to aesthetic sense. So when it comes to aesthetic calculations, when it comes to my nose and also to my eyes. So it's going to be a different look. And with this new transformation, others will feel that maybe I will already look different from my family. But actually, no. If I will do this procedure, this surgery, I will now look more like my sister, look more like my mom, look more like my aunts because I'm actually the only girl in the family who have this quite a bulbous tip. So nose is very important in improving the overall reflection of a person because it is quite in the center and although it is not very dramatically bad or dramatically ugly but improvement on the nose which is in the mid face can also improve a lot so i am doing this not for anyone but just for myself it is just a bonus that my loved ones my colleagues my mentors my family are all very supportive with this one i'm very happy that they are very supportive of me but regardless with or without support i have decided to proceed with this procedure I will see you in our next video, in our next vlog. And this one is just a recording for you to see how I look. This is my before face and we will see how will I look after. Expected that the first week it's going to be a lot of swelling. It cannot be appreciated yet because there will be a cast in here and a lot of bruising in my eyes. On the second and third week, it will subside a little, but still, there is still expected swelling and it's going until 10 to third month that the full healing will eventually be seen. So that's it. I hope to see you and I hope you get to learn more about what you really want in life and what you are going to do about it and just do whatever it is that you feel like it's really good for you. So taking care not just about our health, not just about our nutrition, not just our spirituality, not just about our mind and mental wellness, but overall and physical aspect is also part of that. And that is a part of my self-healing, self-improvement and my journey into leveling up and improving into the best way possible that I can be in this life. So thank you so much for all your support. I'll see you in our next video. Bye!